Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to ask the question, when it comes to muscle building, are you your own worst enemy? Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into video is just like this. If you need a quality workout, check out the link below. I have a lot of great workouts over at my website, Super Living Today. Dot com workouts for every knee bench press workouts muscle building power building strength building check it out all right so i got a handy dandy list right here today and it says muscle building are you your own worst enemy let me get it up there so i can read it and let's see if i can not screw things up here um when it comes to muscle building you know it's really not that complicated we've established that there are a set of rules, there are a set of guidelines, but most often than not, people that are trying to build muscle become their own worst enemy. Now, what does that mean? Well, I have six talking points here that I want to go over so you can process these and ask yourself, am I my own worst enemy when it comes to building muscle? Am I working against my goals by doing this stupid shit? Okay, number one, your training consistency sucks. I beat this drum over and over again, but when you look at long term, uh, over the course of five to ten years, how often are you missing workouts? How often are you missing time away from the gym? <clears throat> this is a big one. If you're missing time away from the gym every year, multiple times a year, you know, extended periods of time, not talking about taking a week off or vacation, but if you're taking extended periods of time away from the gym year in and year out, you have, there should be no expectations. All you're going to do is you're going to build a little bit of muscle, then you're going to take time away from the gym, you're going to come back, you're going to regain uh, that muscle back, then you're going to take time away from the gym. The people that are really successful stick to it for an extended period of time, no bullshit, no excuses, no long periods away from the gym. That's something you have to process. Can you do this for 10 straight years? You need to. All right, point number two, you don't take nutrition seriously. Uh, you know, there's a lot of chatter on the internet about how nutrition is the hard part of muscle building. It's actually the easy part of muscle building if you do it consistently. Nutrition isn't that hard. We all like eating. Look around you at Walmart or the grocery store. There's a lot of large people. We really don't have a, an issue with eating. The issue is that if you're going to build muscle, you have a specific plan. You need to hit a calorie intake and a protein intake goal each and every day. So you need to be consistent with nutrition. You can't yo-yo all over the place. Go high on protein one day, low the next. You have to be consistent. Nutrition is key. All right, point number three. You do not have a progression plan for each exercise on each training day. When you go into the gym, look at the exercises you're about to do. Do you have a specific progression approach for each of these exercises? What do I mean? When are you going to add weight? How hard are you attacking that uh, exercise in that given day? If you do not have a progression approach, you're not in the gym trying to build muscle. You have a to-do list. You're just knocking out random exercises. God knows why, because without a progression approach, you might as well stay home and Netflix and chill or just sit on your couch eating Cheetos. Because without a progression approach, you're just screwing off in the gym. That's why, that's why you see so many people around you in the gym that have weak-ass numbers and no muscle. Because of this point, they don't have a progression approach and they don't attack that progression approach. All right, point number four, you switch programs. I want, I want to say something to you. And this is the most important thing you're going to hear in this video. And there are a lot of important things in this video, but this is the most important thing in this video. To those of you that are switching programs frequently, I want to give you a secret. When you switch programs, you're switching to the same damn exercises. When you switch programs, you're switching to the same damn exercises. They're just shuffled around a little bit, maybe a different set and rep scheme, maybe a different frequency, but you're doing the same shit. The point is you got to get strong on the same shit. It doesn't matter what program you're doing. Programs are generally the same damn exercises sliced and diced a little bit differently. 
You got to get strong on the same basic exercises no matter what. Think about that. If you are weak on the major exercises, you are the problem. You can jump programs all you want. You can screw off all you want. You can shuffle the cards all you want. But you need to get strong on those basic exercises. All right. Are you your own worst enemy? Uh, talking point number five. You think fancy, complicated crap can replace hard work. There is a defined, uh, 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 there is a definition of what hard work is when it comes to hypertrophy. A reasonable amount of volume, a good exercise selection, progressive overload, etc. There are so many people that want to come to me and say, you don't need to get strong to build muscle. Bullshit. I've not seen a weak, muscular man yet, okay, or a weak, muscular woman yet, for that matter. You can't replace hard work. You cannot replace hard work with fancy magic craps. You can slow down, you can slow down your reps all you want and add all this fancy superset and rest pause and all that other happy horseshit, but at the end of the day, you still need to get strong. And I'm not telling you that this stuff doesn't or can't have value, but if it is detached from the getting strong part, it doesn't matter. So put in the hard work. Stop trying to seek a path that avoids the hard work and embrace the hard work because if you can embrace the hard work, you're going to get big. And last point here, you're more worried about optimization than you are about your own strength levels. And this is a cancer. This is a cancer, the cancer of optimization. Okay, scientifically, we all get it. We all know what optimization is, okay? We all know there's a good, a good, better, and best way when it comes to frequency, when it comes to volume, all that kind of stuff. But, but if you are somebody that is so obsessed with optimization, yet your strength levels suck, you are your own worst enemy because you're, you're so focused on optimization, and that's good, but optimization without solid strength, without an attacking of progressive overload, it's pointless. You can know all the science you want, but until you get in the gym and optimize a program for yourself, you're not going to make progress. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.